Hi everyone, everybody, Jonathan here, and in this video, I'm going to teach you to tap into an often overlooked resource to help you grow your fitness business. That resource is the mom. I think too often trainers are getting too creative, uh, giving themselves too much work to try to grow their fitness business. Often, you'll try to set up a tent in, let's say, a 5K where people really care more about running, and I'm not saying that these don't work, but people care more about running than they do about personal training, or when you go to bridal expos, people care more about getting their dress and their cake and their savings, more so than they care about getting a trainer, okay? So you want to pick from the lowest hanging fruit and it's right there in front of you and it is whomever is your mom client. Oftentimes trainers overlook the fact that these moms have a lot of responsibilities and with responsibilities come connections. So if you take advantage of these connections, uh, connections it will put you in a good position to give yourself a lot of exposure all right, and create a low buy-in opportunity for other moms to draw your business. And then they just continue to go out into their network and pull people in. So you always want to have some kind of ability to teach class in your back pocket. All right? Whether you're doing it once a week, once a month, you need to know how to train a class. Even if you're a personal trainer looking to get personal training clients. If you're coming up to somebody on the street and they do have some kind of interest in fitness, it's going to be best to give them a low uh, low cost, low risk buying. And for some folks, the whole one on one training thing is a little bit too intense because they're not used to working out that way. So the buffer zone between you and the client will be their friends with them. They are going on this journey together. So you always want to have some kind of midpoint. So people from my bootcamp ask me for personal training all the time. I don't do personal training anymore. I'll usually outsource them to other personal trainers in my area that I trust. But it's not hard to pull a personal training client from a boot camp. So it would be a good idea to at least have some kind of function where you can teach classes. And then if you have one person that you think is interested in personal training or a number of people, you can present that opportunity to them through your classes. But if you just want to go from, hey, I just met you to, hey, let's do personal training together, you may get a little bit more pushback because it's going to be more expensive, it's going to be more intense, and it may be a little bit more intimidating as they really don't know you that well. However, if they engage in your services with a friend or with a group of friends, that lowers their concern. So, how are we going to use moms to increase your network for your fitness business? You have to understand that moms are all about their kids. So they're often tied into whatever their kids are doing. So two questions that you should be asking your parents are, number one, are your children involved in any sports? And particularly, you're going to be looking for field sports, such as field hockey, lacrosse, soccer, and baseball. Why? Because parents generally will watch their kids while practicing, and they'll just talk to each other while they're watching practice. And practice usually takes place on a large field, a place where you would run a boot camp or a fitness class anyway. So if your child is out in the field running around for two hours or two and a half hours, you can dedicate 45 minutes, a half hour, an hour, whatever the case may be, to the parents. If you have one parent of a child on the team, you'll say, hey, um, we can, I can come over to the park and we can do a little bit of a workout on me, whatever the case may be, or you know, half price. Essentially, you want to do some calisthenics, maybe you want to bring some bands, you want to bring some weights with you to the park and do some simple work, walking, maybe some jogging, maybe some lunging, and um, some resistance training in the uh, eyesight of the other parents. Because then it will show first that you're a trainer, number two, that you have some kind of social proofing as one of the parents already sees you, uh, and you want to put a lot of work into this parent, making sure that they see results, so they see that your services are effective. More than anything else, you want to make sure that that parent is having fun. And when you walk them back over, notice the keywords, when you walk them back over to their circle, you can introduce yourself, you can have them introduce you to the other parents, and you can invite them to do a, hey, while your kids are at practice, let's just do a quick workout, it'll take about a half hour, it won't be too hard, you won't be sweating too much, and you can talk to these people. This opens an avenue for exposure, this kind of exposure that you want, an opportunity to show them what kind of training skills you have. From there, if they're interested in, in engaging in your services while their child is in practice, let's say the child practices once a week, you can open up an additional time that, was, that would be convenient for the parents based on a poll. Um, the next avenue that you may want to take with your parents is asking if their kids are involved or you want to listen for if their kids are involved in Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts. 
I, I've gotten a number of clients, and you're not going to get like 20 at once, but I've gotten a number of clients from doing work from Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. So, uh, for instance, one of my clients has a son who's an Eagle Scout, and one of the merit badges is a, um, is a fitness merit badge or an exercise merit badge. So essentially, I have to sit down for an hour and become a counselor, and uh, it gives me an opportunity to talk to all the other connected leaders uh, along these Eagle Scout groups and tell them that I'm a fitness professional and then I can just dedicate as much time as I want um, to make myself available to the Eagle Scouts to run classes. If I want to really manipulate the situation, I can have it such that the classes have to be parent and child. Now the parent is getting an opportunity to see what kind of trainer you are and number one, as long as you're engaging, number two, as long as you're fun, uh, then you can open up your services to the parent. I've also had a situation where a Girl Scout group just wanted one day of me just going over there and running, essentially just ran a boot camp without weights. And that, I, I made it a parent-child situation and that introduced me to one parent who in turn, she introduced me to four parents and then the chain just keeps going and going and going. But the main point is you gotta get yourself out there. You can't sit behind a computer. You can't just post up a bunch of flyers. You have to get yourself engaged. You have to give yourself exposure. And one of the great ways is through moms. So if your moms talk about their child doing a, you know, a field sport or their child being involved in the Girl Scouts or the Boy Scouts, use that information, take advantage of it, and then roll with it. You may end up with some extra clients and then just keep working the referral game. So, that's about it. Um, this is not a very long video because it's not instructional, but I'll continue to have more videos coming up. Remember, if you happen to like this video, uh, like it, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on Google+, share it on YouTube, share it wherever you can so I can help get the word out to other trainers. Moreover, uh, if you just happen to stumble upon this channel, subscribe to this channel as this is dedicated toward helping trainers become better trainers and grow their businesses. Moreover, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, like me on the, um, or add me as a friend on Facebook, or follow me on Twitter. Ask me any questions through the personal messaging or the direct messaging um, applications in those social media networks, because a lot of these videos are really just responses to questions that I get a lot. I just give it back to you in an organized fashion with all of my experience wrapped around it. So, you keep the lines of communication open. I'll keep the videos coming, as long as you remember to eat healthy, hydrate, drive safe. Stress levels will get rest and stop you, buddy. Love your clients, they will love you back. I will see you all tomorrow or the next day, and you have a good one.